So these are the diaries of a gold farmer and today we have a very unusual video but uh, I thought let me just put it out there and uh, this might actually help someone. So one of the critical things that we have at the farm is uh, the people, the people who work there. And these are the people that are seeing your goats each and every day. So these people are critical for the success of your operation. So one of the things that was happening with me is the guys were just complaining that they don't have any power. They don't have any lights at night, you know, using candles and they can't even charge their phones. So even if there is a problem with, uh, with the goats, you know, they have to travel a long distance to charge their phones and then call me. So I came up with this. So we came up with this uh, um, device where we want to have like a a mobile solar unit that is low cost that can actually be used at the farm. And I think at any anyone can have it. So all you need is a hard board, you know, just a hard board. This is something that was old that we used to have. And then you buy some uh, switches, light switches, depending on the number of uh, lights that you want. And then a plug and then an inverter and you also buy a charge controller you need some cables um, electrical cables and then you need uh, you know those normal lamp holders that you buy in the shop for like a dollar and then the normal lamps I used LED lights there because they're like 5 watts and the other thing that you definitely need here is the battery so you can see we've got a battery there, an old battery that I was using in my vehicle. That's the one that we're actually going to be using at the farm. And then the last thing that you need is the solar panel. So basically, the basic idea is that the charge controller that you see there, it charges the battery and then the battery converts the DC power into AC which is then fed into the inverter and then it goes out into the plugs and then you can power everything. So that's the panel that we bought. That's about 265 watts uh, solar panel. I think you can't see that there, but it's 265. So that is what's going to be charging uh, the, the battery. So it's a very simple setup. So basically these guys, after we set it all up, we're just going to put it in the car, go to the farm. And then the guys will just simply set it up and then hang that wall on one of the walls in the house there. And, you know, voila, they've got our electricity. So it's very simple, guys. And this is something that you can do. Now you can see we are almost done now with the setup. So the output from the inverter is going into the plug, as you can see, output from the inverter there. It's going actually, you can see the output comes out from there, goes into the plug, goes into the lights. Each light has got its own switch, as you can see. And then that's the charge controller solar panel light, can you see? It's going to the solar panel, which we are connecting at the back. So this is a very simple setup, but an extremely effective setup you know it's a very simple and extremely effective our inverter is a 1,800 watt but can go to 1,200 so you know that the lights are going to be there so they're connecting the panel now i just want to demonstrate this to you before we before we take it to the farm so if if you're having problems with power i mean in africa you know this is a big challenge this is something that you can do. It won't cost you a lot because that inverter there, it's a mobile one. Uh, you won't pay more than $40 for it, uh, US dollars. And then even the charge controller, you, you won't pay more than $20 for it. And then the plugs and everything. So this whole setup is going to be very, very uh, cheap, but very uh, effective. So we've connected now. Can you see? Uh, it's actually reading that the battery is 11.8 volts. This is a standard 12 volt battery, and then it's telling me it's two bars, meaning the battery is is uh, is a bit low. So we are now going to switch on the lights. Can you see? 
the light is on yes and can you look at the other one it's on see the lights are on so these so the guys will just go and hang these into their uh, individual rooms there because they put a two-roomed house there and it's like they're in their own house you know can you see the light is on on and uh, yeah so this is very simple and effective and uh, let's just test the plug there just to see if that's working uh, they can even can you see it's now 11.3 volts it's dropped a little because uh, the solar panel we it's this shade so it's not actually charging but just the lights that we've switched on have actually dropped the voltage a little bit and now we're going to be charging the phone I just want you to have a look so now we've connected the phone can you see 23% and it's charging so yeah so that means they've got, they've got power in the rural areas so guys these things are very important important because you know these are the guys that are taking care of our goats we have to make sure that um, we make life as comfortable as possible for them so now I've connected it this is the charge controller that you need it's a 260 watt 12 volt um, but can you see it can go up to two can you see now we've put in the panel and it's now up now to 11.7 so yeah this is just a small electrical uh, solar tip uh, please remember to subscribe to our channel and remember to take care of the workers that are at the farm because these guys are sacrificing a lot for the farm so let's try and make uh, their work as easy as possible or as more as as comfortable as possible so thank you for watching remember to subscribe to our channel these are the diaries of a goat farmer see you next time